Hi now, welcome back to my channel. Well, Sunday, race day. So we're gonna go through and uh, we're going up here to Wilkesboro. They got a track day and they got a stop block class. They got a 20, uh, they got 275 versus 28. And then they got an all still all glass. I don't know what class we are gonna go enter in yet, but Nigel's coming to help out. John's coming to help out. Like I said, we got it back here. Caden's back here gonna help out. Nikki's in Bojangles right now. Look at this freaking line. Yes, I got a wreck out there at the road. I'm sitting up on the side because you know, I don't care. Look right here. Let me see. I pulled up on the curb. So she ran inside a minute ago. You couldn't even get in the parking lot of this place. So show you what it looks like pulling up at Willisboro. The layout. Down in that little valley down there where the track is. Very, very cool looking track. The only thing about it, they need to move them scoreboards out further. That way the track looks longer because where, where they got them short, the track just looks really, really short, even though it is an eighth mile. But this, this is the facility right here. So I'll get some more when we turn in right quick. Here's the track.
blow the damn tires off. Right I don't know what lane you got, but. Right, I got right. Okay.
coming back down the mountain right now. We ended up, let me turn my camera around here just a minute. I just want to show you, it's pretty up here in the mountains of North Carolina. During this time of the year, fall time, you see all the trees and all that. And a better place to live, son. We don't want a lot of people here in North Carolina, but it's not a bad choice. But anyways, just do a little recap, because my wife hates it when I end my videos without telling y'all what happened or what was what. So look at her smiling. Yeah, she you gets have She it. gets mad when I, when I finish off without telling anybody anything. But anyways, so I went up first, the first pass, and I messed around and forgot to let the air pressure out of my tires. I think I recorded that earlier. I already have it all. But I forgot to drop the air pressure. I put 20 pounds in it last night. And what I typically do when I go to the track, I'll drop tire pressure down to about 15 and a half. And I just pretty much leave it there the rest of the day because it usually fluctuates a little bit, but it pretty much stays in that area. So we ended up, we spun with a 6.0, I think, at like 132 mile an hour. So I come back, I let the air pressure out because I knew the air pressure was the problem. And we put ice in it and all that. We come around, try the same tune-up, and that wheelie's really, really good. I mean, it, it had a nice little wheelie. It wasn't as high as I've ever had it, but it was decent. So I went a 532 at 132 with the wheelie pass. The car, we noticed it ain't making the boost up top that normal. Like normally it'll make 29, 30 pounds and he's had to put 10 more pounds on the gate just to make 27 so it, it was he was commanding 39 it was making 27 so i don't know whether i might have something going on or whether it's just the air up here in the mountains just being that much different than what we normally race at so the like we got past first round we outrun that car come up for second round and i tightened the front shocks up i knew we were going to try hitting that harder so i tightened the front shocks up on the car and I tightened the limiters up a little bit. Well, it knocked the tires off. We got out and run. I went a five, I think it was a 550 something, like 130 mile an hour. So then we turned around and uh, by that time we were already out. So I, was, I figured, well, I'd try. I got a tune that Nigel made for me. It's a trash control tune or whatever, something to cut power. I've been itching to kind of try it just to see. So since that pass had spun, I figured instead of making any changes, I, I clicked the shocks out two clicks. I had clicked them in four. I clicked them back out two clicks. And I turned around and uh, that was all we did to it. I just loaded the trash control onto that file. So I pull up there and it lead, like I could feel the trash control instantly hit, but it went right down through that. I, I put myself out of the groove on purpose because I wanted to see if it was going to spin or if it wasn't going to spin and what it was going to do. So I drove it all the way down through there. I went up a five, I went a 560 on the pass before when I spun. Well, the pass with the track control on it went 550s, 130. So that was good enough some good info because so we can always go through and start adjusting that to make a, a better track control tune or whatever to see since we got a decent line. All right, guys. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get more footage for you. I turned around and uh, I was racing. Nikki was recording. We left a little bit early so we didn't get the last five rounds. But luckily for you, you can go over to Corey Stanford's page. If you on my page, you don't know who Corey Stanford is, tell him, Caden. You ain't living right. You don't know what life's about. So Corey does a lot of videos of a bunch of races all over the place. So if you ain't if you're on my channel, you don't you ain't never been on this channel, go check it out. It's called Spool Media. And while I'm at I also want to give a shout out to my Mac Life. Very, very smart dude, state farm agent. He drove a Dodge, so but last time I was in the track he had a Chevrolet, so we won't He's, he's smartening it up. He's been watching the channel. He's smart, dude. He's been he's getting there. He getting, I'm, I'm going to have him in the winter circle before you know it. You just wait. I'm going to have him living life right. He's going to be eating steaks every night of the week. He's going to be doing the thing. But, nah, uh, anyways, he's a very smart dude. He does a lot of car racing and stuff. First time car racer. So, he has a real good beginner show you the ropes kind of channel. So, he, he's working out. He's trying to get to a 1,000 subs. I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subs. So, if you can help us, both of us out, I appreciate it. So please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you one later. Thank you. Bye.